Hello students, welcome to the course backtracking. In today's video, we'll talk about introduction to the backtracking. In this video, we'll see what all things we are going to cover in this course and we'll also see some basics about the backtracking. So these are the learning outcomes of this course. So by the end of this course, you'll be able to understand the basics of backtracking. You'll be able to solve n-queen problem using backtracking. You'll be able to solve some of subsets problem using backtracking approach. You'll be able to solve graph coloring problem using backtracking approach. And you'll be able to find the Hamilton cycle in a graph with the help of backtracking approach. And you'll also be able to solve zero and knapsack problem using backtracking. So let's begin with what exactly is the backtracking. So a backtracking is a systematic method for searching one or more solutions for a given problem. In general way, you can say a backtracking is a refined brute force technique. Backtracking can effectively solve multi-dimensions problem where the final solution is visualized as a set of decisions. These decisions can be perceived till one encounters a successful solution of a problem or an emphase that is a dead end. So this is one of the example you can see here. So I'm at the starting position and this is normally called as a state space tree. So you, I begin with here, I, you can see I have three possible options, right? So I choose this option, I go here, I find a solution. So I come back to the original position, right? So I don't come to this particular node, but I come to the original position from where I started, right? So again, I traverse this way, I go this way, here I go to the dead end, wherein I cannot go further and I don't have any solution. So I backtrack again to this particular solution and explore the third option. So you can see here I had three options and the problem which I wanted to solve is having solution with these two approaches, right? So depending upon the problem statement, uh, there would be the constraints which will lead you to the solution or a dead end, right? So now let us try to understand what problems can be solved with the help of backtracking. So the first one is the enumeration problems. So basically the enumeration problems are the one wherein the all solutions are listed for a given problem. Second are the decision problems wherein a solution is given in terms of yes or no. And the last one that we have is the optimization problem, wherein the optimal solutions are required, which maximize or minimize the given objective function as per the constraints of a given problem. So these three type of problems can be solved using the backtracking. So I hope at least a little bit about the backtracking uh, you have understood. Don't worry if you still have a doubt about backtracking. By the end of this course, you'll be pro with the backtracking approach. So thank you for your patience listening. Happy learning.